Hello and welcome to Gate Academy. Uh, the entire PDGD course that uh, I have dealt for the electrical machine. Presently, I am here to show you how you have to prepare for the electrical machine. Okay, the entire syllabus how you have to take. Okay, so for that, first of all, you have to uh, focused about the syllabus. Okay, and then. What I have given uh, in the entire PDGD course that I will discuss and then later on how to uh, take that the syllabus so that you can easily understand the entire concept that I have given in the entire this PDGD course for the electrical machine. Okay. Now see for the transformers electrical machine syllabus for the transformers in a single phase you have to focus on the electrical equivalent circuit models phasor diagram open circuit and short circuit test regulations and efficiency. These two are very important topic and you have to keep this in mind. Regulation and efficiency are very important for gate. This is also very important for gate especially V by F uh, constant and V by F not constant. So, you have to focus on these two topics. These are very important for gate. Okay. Now, overall each and everything is important. But for the gate specifically if I say these two topics are more important as per the previous uh, model of asking the question in the gate exam. Okay. Now next is your three phase transformer. The entire three phase transformer also have regulation efficiency electrical equivalent circuit model each and everything already covered in this as it is given connections. Okay. So you have to go with each and every connection like a star delta connection. Uh, star star connection star star 6 delta star 1 and so on okay then parallel operation parallel operation of both parallel operation of both means for the single phase as well as for the three phase both you have to focus about the parallel operation both are exactly same for the numericals because uh, three phase transformers uh, are treated uh, are calculated on a single phase basis as all three phases are identical okay next is your auto transformer that is very also, that is also very important for the gate point of view is it okay apart from this i have tried to cover each and everything uh, i think uh, more than 60 hours i have given to this transformer okay and lots of numericals already in your workbook you have to go with each and every numerical in the sequence as I have uh, de uh, deliberated in the lectures is it okay. Now how you have to study because uh, we are not uh, interacting physically this is a digital medium by which we are going to interact. So first of all you have to uh, make notes properly whatever I am saying whatever uh, derivations uh, are uh, going to be delivered on this board each and everything you have to make it uh, you have to treat the video lectures like you are in the classroom and you have to make the notes properly most of the time for the important points I have suggested take the note okay. So for that type of notes apart from your uh, running notes you have to go with the short notes also. Once you have completed the transformer then before moving to the other uh, topic first of all make a short note so that you can uh, recall the entire transformer 60 hours within uh, 60 or 70 uh, minutes okay so you have to make the proper short notes also apart from your regular notes that you are making is it okay then uh, after solving all the numericals as i have suggested you uh, in the workbook as question number 1 question number 2 then uh, self practice questions are given you have to go with self practice questions also Okay, each and every question that makes you a very comfortable for this subject. Okay. Apart from this you need to solve uh, ESC questions like uh, I, uh, you can say ESC conventional questions. ESC conventional questions are very good and they are going to help you a lot in uh, concept building. Okay. So it is better to go with ESC conventional question that is easily available in the market previous 20 years ESC uh, conventional questions are there. Left out theoretical question if you are only preparing for the gate and uh, take each and every numerical part. Okay. So it will help you a lot each and every question. You can also go with the IAS conventional questions, IAS previous year conventional question that is also going to help you to build up your uh, concept. Uh, if you are, if you have to uh, 
give the exam in the coming year, then you have a one year, I think. It is very uh, comfortable to go with all the numericals of all the subjects and it will help you a lot to build up the concept. Okay? Now, next part is the machine that I have taken machine, uh, DC machine. In the DC machine for the gate purpose, this is the three motors are specifically uh, mentioned in the syllabus as separately excited series and shunt. Even uh, till now, all the questions asked in the gate mostly are from the separately excited series and shunt. Okay? But that is very important to understand the operation by understanding the armature reaction and that is also very important armature reaction and effects also we have to understand how we can avoid the effect of armature reaction so i have covered this in very detail not only that i have also taken a consideration of a compound machines like a cumulative compound machine differential compound machines though it is not mentioned in the question but sometimes they are going to ask a very uh, you can say uh, uh, you can say very easy question like which machine will have zero speed regulation in a DC that is your differential compound DC motor that question is asked in gate 2005 though it is not mentioned that the differential or the compound machines are in your syllabus. So you have to go with uh, the topics also but for the focused point of the gate you can go with these three and try to solve each and every question. In the sequence as I have indicated, some, some things are very important like what is the rated voltage, what is the rated current, what is what do you understand by the current drawn from the supply, what do you understand by the armature current, how the field is affected because of the armature reaction. So you have to keep all these things in mind. Okay? While performing this uh, DC machine, when you are going to prepare for a DC machine, you have to keep in mind that each and everything, whatever I have delivered in the video lecture, you have try to make a proper notes and that proper notes will help you a lot before and during uh, before the exam okay so in order to understand the each and every concept very thoroughly okay so go very slow because uh, in the video we are not interacting physically so i don't know what uh, is your expectation and how you are uh, catching my uh, information because i can't see your reaction so for that you have to go very slow okay Go only two to five, two hours to three hours for the electrical machine in a day, and uh, you can just take a rewind. If you are not able to con uh, understand the concept, you have you have to go uh, in the again re, uh, rewind your uh, rewind the video and then again watch. Okay, that is the best way. Now one more thing you have to keep in mind because we are not physically interacting, so it is very important for you to you have to be patience. Like if I am saying we will discuss about the armature reaction later on, so you must have to be patient. Don't go directly uh, ahead towards the other topic. Okay? Like if you are most of the students think no, no, I uh, I can well understand this topic, so we will just uh, fast forward this topic and reach to the next one. It will uh, definitely it is going to damage your concept somewhere. So never fast forward the concept. Go with very slow understanding way because machine is such a subject that you can easily score and these uh, out of all the entire gate uh, uh, different uh, you can say uh, <coughs> your uh, technical papers your electrical machine is very easy to score because each and everything are very uh, well defined and they are being framed very previously. So it is very uh, easily you can uh, achieve the uh, numbers for DC machine or for the entire electrical whatever they are going to ask from the electrical machine. So you have to go very slow. The only one I am just saying a thumb rule whatever I have delivered you have to understand in a very slow manner so that it will help you a lot as we are not physically interacting. Make a proper note that is very important for you. DC machine is also very important because one question definitely asked each and every year of the uh, from the DC machine. So this is also a very important part for you. Next is your induction motors. Now induction motors is sub categorized into two groups that is three phase induction motors and single phase induction motors. First of all you have to understand the principle of operation that will give you the understanding of basic understanding of slip, rotor speed, synchronous speed and other things, induced DMF, frequency of induced DMF in the rotors, each and everything I have covered in the operation, operational uh, behavior of the induction motors. Then you have to understand the types and performance like a squirrel cage and rotor uh, 
uh, slip ring rotor uh, induction motor. So for that you have to understand both of them and their performance, how the performance are going to be affected. Their torque speed characteristic curve, that is the most important part of the entire induction machine. If you are able to understand this torque speed characteristic curve, it will help you a lot. You have to physically analyze how the things are going to change and you have to feel it in the torque speed characteristic curve, how the load torque is varying, how the speed is varying. That is the most important part for this three phase induction machine I think. If you are able to understand the torque slip character, torque speed characteristic curve, then uh, all the speed control methods are very easy to understand and you can easily perform all the numericals asked on this topic. Okay. Then you have no load and block rotor test that is also important for the gate because uh, <coughs> gate will have only two or three questions uh, a year. So you can say sir there are a lot of things which may be asked in the future. So uh, related to that I am saying you have to go with each and every topic you do you can't uh, just skip the okay okay we will going to skip this no load test and block rotor test you don't know because in gate 2007 uh, almost 9 marks question 6 6 marks questions are uh, is been asked only from the starting part is it okay so that is very also important so you have to go each and every topic you have to focus each and every topic. Next is your electrical equivalent circuit. I have covered all the three, Stimmons electrical equivalent model as well as uh, Thevenin electrical equivalent model and the normal approximate electrical equivalent model, equivalent model obtained from the no load test and block rotor test. So you have to go with all of them. Then starting is also very important for the gate that is starting covers, star delta starter, auto transformer starter. Uh, your direct online starter and impedance starter, each and everything, which one is suitable, why we are using that one. So each and every topic is very important for you. And the most important topic for the induction machine is your speed control because whenever we are studying something, then the major purpose of this study is to, uh, uh, to uh, identify what happens if we are going to change the parameter. Like how the speed is going to change when we are going to change the terminal voltage, how the speed is going to change with the help of V by F control. So all are covered. Nowadays inductions are very important like VVFD, voltage, variable voltage, variable frequency drives. So all are covered in this speed control. Is it okay? <clears throat> Next is your single phase induction machine. Single phase induction machine, uh, I have covered the working and operation types and their uses like capacitor start, capacitor start, capacitor run, resistance, start, split phase motors and so on. Then their torque speed characteristic curve. In the working you have to understand the concept of double field revolving theory, how the two phase motor will going to behave, all these things. Okay. Next is your torque speed characteristic curve for each and every uh, motor. So you will know for what purpose which one is uh, suitable and how we are going to achieve the starting torque in case of a single phase induction motor. Electrical model of the single phase induction motor is also important because uh, in uh, gate and ESC, in ESC and gate both uh, they have asked about the backward rotor resistance when the rotor is running in the forward direction. So for that you have to go with the electrical equivalent model and OCSC test of course. Okay. Next is your conditions for maximum starting torque. This is very important for gate. Why I am saying this is important for gate? Because more than twice the question asked in gate is to find the value of capacitor so that the capacitor start induction motor will produce a maximum torque or so that the currents are in quadrature. So for that uh, part this is very important. Okay. For the gate you can say these conditions are important. I have derived each and every conditions, whatever required up to your BTEC level. Is it okay? Now come to the next part that is synchronous machine. Nowadays, uh, the, to the topics, the, you can say the weightage of this synchronous machine is day by day increasing. Like uh, in 2019, in 2020 and so on. In every part you found that the number of questions asked in synchronous machine is increasing. Because that is very related to the power system also. So most of the persons get confused whether the question is asked in power system or from the uh, synchronous machine. Each and everything I have taken in the synchronous machine which is important to know about for the generating purpose. Okay. Now see, 
in this we have two types of machine like salient pole machine and cylindrical rotor machine. I have covered when and how we have to use, how the torque is produced, how the torque is going to generate the voltage, what happens to the leading power factor, lagging power factor, V curve and so on for the generator and motor mode and that is given in the syllabus as performance and operation in motoring and generating mode. So each and everything is covered, okay. I have taken more than 60 hours of the synchronous motors also. So it will help you a lot and that is very uh, important for the synchronous machines. I have taken more than 60 hours for the synchronous machine. So you have to go slowly. The only thing is you have to go slow. Patience. If I am explaining like salient pole uh, synchronous machine. So if I am explaining something and I am saying that later on we will see this on the slip, slip test. So uh, go with the flow as I am going. Okay. And then if you are getting the point after uh, some uh, some after my conclusion if you are not going to able to understand the concept then go again and watch again so that is that will uh, help you a lot it will take time yes of course it will take time because this is a very conceptual uh, subject so it will take time and no bar if you are going to give your only uh, one or one and a half month seriously then it will be easy to understand each and every topic okay four to five hours in a day is sufficient to understand and to write your notes okay so you have to make notes very properly that will help you a lot and go with the questions as i have discussed next is your starting of synchronous motor that is a very small topic but it covers in the syllabus as a very large part so only uh, the type of starting why the synchronous motor is not self starting however they haven't asked a question from this so you can just read it out I have explained you each and everything types of types of losses in the synchronous machine efficiency calculation that is also important part however they haven't till asked uh, very uh, highly in intentionally the efficiency of uh, synchronous machine they haven't asked but maybe in the future they may, may going to ask you the efficiency calculations also okay and one part that is important for the gate that is synchronous condenser most of the person thinks that synchronous condenser is also uh, studied in case of a uh, <coughs> power system however i have taken the synchronous condensers here that is not mentioned but nowadays most of the topics are asked from the frequency control so i have also concluded uh, the important portion of load frequency control part load frequency control and effects how what happens if we are going to change the load what happens if we are going to change the speed of the machine what happens to the frequency what is grid failure each and everything that is also i have covered here okay so it will help you a lot if you go uh, in a way that uh, that i have opted because i have uh, just mapped a, a path so that even if you are not with me physically but you can't say this you always feel that i am with you and I am in front of you. I have always tried to talk uh, with you uh, in between the concept and I have just taken again and again like if you are not able to understand that topic then again you have to focus on this, again you have to focus on this. In that way I have tried to show you the difficult things to be in a uh, repeatedly manner so that it will be very convenient for you, okay. I think uh, that is very sufficient for you. Uh, I have given the entire introduction of the topic, what I am going, how I am going to deliver the entire lecture. It will help you a lot, okay. So must watch this uh, particular uh, video and then you proceed for the your preparation purpose. Each and everything will be uh, important, whatever I have delivered. But from that, once you have completed the topics, you must have to make a short notes. That short notes are very important and each and every person will have its own short notes because the short notes are only in order to recall each and everything. Like uh, what I have done in the previous days and I have to remember that. So uh, if that topic is related to some person named as Pinky, so I just say I have to remember Pinky, okay? And each and everything is going to be recalled. In the same manner, you have to make your short notes so that you can easily recall, okay? So uh, best of luck and work hard, definitely success will be your. Thank you.